Welcome guys, uh, my name is Bruce Lewis, like you know, okay, today I'm here to give you guys uh, yet another video analysis, so today I'll be looking at pound USD and pound GPY, so looking at pound USD we're starting with, okay, what I see on pound USD, first of all, I just have to look at the behavior of the market, how is the market behaving, so First of all, to, for you to see how the behavior is, the, the, how the market is behaving, you just have to identify your the level where the market is running at the moment and what, what you see on that level there, right? So we got an argument that this might be, we got an interesting argument if you draw your line, your trend line there as well, because we've got the bounce there, as you can see. We've got this bounces there, number one, two, three, four, five, where price has been failing to break and number six here. So we still we still have an argument, sorry, that price might still push up because it breaks this low here, this high here, it might push up to that level there, right? So this is the argument that we have. So guys, we just have to look at the strong level first. Before we can decide whether it's gonna push up, we have to look at where is it pushing up to? So looking at this level here, if we can draw that level there again, if the market is gonna push up to that level, between this level here, one, two, right? And three this side, and then the breakout here. So ask yourself, why is the market going all the way up to this level? It's because it's going to, to retest this few breakout here, right? So, so if now the market decided to go down, up, up to that level there, right? We'll be looking at what? We'll be looking at this, at this nearest supply zone here, right? For for our cell, our cell setups there. So if it happens that market push up to that level, so we might be looking for for a cell there going going down, all the way down, right? Right. The reason we we might be looking for a cell here is because of higher time frame. So let's quickly go to higher time frame to see what we can get again, yet again to to sell this pair going down because because of because for me it looks like it's still on a sell because we have a lot of lot of lot of opportunities we have a lot of scenarios we have a lot of confluences on lower time frames for us to sell to sell the price going down so let's quickly go to higher time frame to see what we can get let's say daily what do we have on daily okay I think okay cool there we go we are on daily now what do you see on daily number one we have a strong supply zone. What is the strong supply zone? Look at this level here. Price failed to break there, right? Price failed to break there. And, okay, sorry about that. And if we can check, guys, okay, to be precise, if we can check, guys, how long did price took to reach this level? It's been here since 2019, December 13, December 2019, and then it went back there today, yeah, on 1st of September, right? So what happened now? Do we, 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 saw, we saw price failing to break that strong supply zone, and then we have a change of structure. If we can just throw a trend line there, you have a change of structure. So remember, change of structure is there, it's like when price break what? Break a, a, a trend line. So if it breaks a trend line, it means it's a change of structure. So after breaking the trend line, price should give you like what? So it should give you like a, a, a pattern. What pattern do you have? So if you can see that we have a bearish, a bearish flag, right? If we just draw it like that, it's very, very simple, guys. If you just draw it like that, it is it's, it's a it's a bearish flag. It doesn't look like a bearish flag, it's a bearish flag. Remember, after every breakout price, you retest. So what else can we add? Can we add we add like this demand zone here? Right? If we add that demand zone there to make it very, very easy. And then we might be expecting, now we're expecting price to push down to that level there. So how do you get the entry? You just add FIBO, you pull FIBO from the nearest high to the nearest low. Very, very easy guys. Price already reached 61.8, so it's your time to sell it going down. So let's talk about your stop loss and your take profit, right? So if we are on a short position there, right? We wanna sell it there, okay. If we are selling it there, this is our sell level there, okay. There, we, this is where the price is right now. So we just have to hide your stop loss about this high here, about this high here. Let me just show you there quickly. About this high here, you hide your stop loss because of this highs, because of this high, because of this high, you hide your stop loss there and you take your profit all the way, all the way down to, down to this level down to this level here, 
right? There was gonna be our take profit. So as you can see, guys, the risk and reward ratio is very, 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 very simple, guys, an interesting one. So we, yeah, we're looking for a nice, 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 nice sell setups there. Number one, another thing that we can add, guys, uh, before we go on to pound JPY, another thing we can add, guys, is the A, B, C, D, like I always, I always say, guys. So if this level here, it will be your A, we'll have our B, and then this is our level C. This is where we should sell and we get out that D, right? So I just hope you can take this trade, guys. It's very, very interesting. It's got a lot of confluences for you to take. So let's quickly go to pound JPY to see what you can get, right? So on pound JPY, guys, we saw something similar, guys. As you can see, okay, we already have done the analysis on pound JPY. We already have done analysis. I just have to explain it. So do you have a a change of structure, yes, we do have a change of structure. Where is our change of structure quickly? This is our change of structure here. Price has been bouncing there, bouncing there, bouncing there and there, right? Same level as this one. And then this is our pure breakout. It formed a bearish flag there, right? We can anticipate that price might still go to 61.8 before it fell, right? But as you can see, guys, we've got the head and shoulder here, right? And then we've got like a, a strong supply zone there, which price at least fail to reach that supply supplies over there. So just this, the very same thing guys, uh, with pound USD and pound JPY, the structure is the same guys. What do you have to do on this one? You just have to draw your, your trend line there. You wait for price to break this one. And if this one candle can break this one and close below this level here, below that trend line there, you, you it's now confirmed that it's gonna go all the way down. So as your stop loss guys, you know as well, you can just hide it there. Let me just show you the easiest way. For your stop loss, guys, if you went in on 61.8, if price pushed to 61.8, you went in there, okay, what's going on? Okay, okay, if you went into on 61.8, let's say price push all the way to 61.8, you went in there, right? And your take profit will be all the way down there. Okay, and your, your safest stop loss will be there. Of course, it's, it's, it's a lot of pips to risk there, so we just have to pull it a little bit lower and hide it below this two loops here. Where's the two loops that we should hide it on? We should just have to hide it below this, this two highs here, this high and this high, and your stop loss will be will be somewhere there. So thank you very much guys from me, Bruce Lewis and Super Forex. I hope you enjoy your weekend. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you don't miss this setup. See you guys next time.